the four stages of tasting tea. In the first stage, while the tea is getting ready, feel free to start your tea journey by sniffing the aroma, or what I prefer to say, inhaling the steam, the first essence of the tea. It will prompt you to deep breathing, slow down and prepare you for the right state to taste the tea. As you breathe out, you can also gently blow to cool it. Some studies have suggested that up to 90% of flavor is perceived through smell. The aromas and flavors of tea basically fall into the following categories. Vegetal, floral, fruity, nutty, earthy, and savory. These are very much related to the life of a plant. First, it starts with just a green plant, vegetal. Then it blossoms, floral. Then it grows into fruits or nuts, fruity or nutty. Then the plant leaves either far off and go back to the earth, earthy, or they are picked and made into food, which would be savory. After a few deep breaths, as both the tea and you are ready, let's drink. Use a spoon to gently move the leaves away or just kiss the leaves as you drink. As the tea flows in your mouth and over your tongue, you are officially on stage two, tasting the tea. Your taste buds will immediately have an impression of the tea. From something as simple as sweet, sour, bitter, to a more specific idea of the above categories. If it's vegetal, what kind of plant it is? If it's floral or fruity, what kind of flower or fruit is it? And what color? Sometimes it could be a combination of two categories. Slurping, of course, helps you to pick up more aromas, but it's totally up to you whether or not you want to do that. Using a tool like a flavor wheel will help, especially when you're still not experienced in tasting vocabulary. But also don't be limited to those words only. Be free and creative with your description. Anything you have smelled or tasted before can be used as a reference. You should also think about how you like the strength and the level of tannin and consider adjusting the tea amount or brewing time for your next one. Stage three is what I would call association. Now, besides the senses, you also need to involve your brain. The tea liquid goes down to your stomach, but the tea energy goes up to your brain. In my tasting notes, what I would put down is the image that tea makes me think of. Yes, smell or taste is the best medium of bringing back our memories, or sometimes the smell or taste prompts imagination. One time I tried rock tea from Uyi. As I closed my eyes, I saw a red palm flower coming out from the crack of a rock. So that tea was slightly floral with the brisk aroma of a wet cold rock. And the raw pua tea that we have in Chow Cha really takes me back to this forest I once visited in Pennsylvania. The scents that come out of the tree, the mud, the river, and the rocks, they all mix into the cup of tea that I was having. There is no right or wrong when finding an association with tea because your experience is unique to yourself. Even if nothing comes to you when you're tasting a tea, you can create it. A practice I like to ask my guests at our tasting workshop is to imagine when and where would you like to have this tea. We have answers from after dinner with the family by the fireplace to in the morning on my balcony with a little breeze a little bit of intuition, association, reflection, and imagination. This is the fun part that a lot of people are missing while tasting tea. When we are done with the images in our head, we have had enough tea, and now it's time to get back to our body. Stage four, back to the sensation. With a little bit of awareness and thinking, you can ask yourself, how does the tea make you feel? Are you calm, excited, Satisfy or chatty? Why chatty? When a tea is very fragrant, it makes you feel like there are flowers in your mouth. It makes you feel good about your breath. You will want to talk and share the flowers with others. Your sensations and mood while enjoying the tea may become something that triggers you to want to have that tea next time. Well, from the above steps, this Longjing tea I'm tasting is fragrant and nutty. Not sure what flowers it reminds me of, but it would be a small yellow flower. And the nutty taste is a kind of fried rice. 
It makes me feel light and pure. I have the image of mountains draped in fog when I drink it. I want to enjoy it on the balcony outdoor with my friends. Beautiful. <laughs>